Hello everyone. In today's video I'll be diving into the world of Screen Copy, a fantastic tool that allows you to mirror your Android device screen on your computer effortlessly. Whether you're a developer, a content creator, or simply looking for an efficient way to manage your Android device, Screen Copy has got you covered. With Screen Copy, you can easily connect your Android device to your computer via USB cable or wirelessly using ADB, means Android Debug Bridge. It's like having your Android device right in front to you, but with the convenience of using a keyboard and mouse for navigation and interaction. Screen Copy allows you to mirror your Android device screen in real time, providing you with a smooth and lag-free experience. Whether you're playing games, demonstrating an app or showcasing your device's features, Screen Copy ensures that the visuals are displayed crisply and accurately on your computer screen. Let me give you a live demonstration how I mirror my Google Pixel 6 Android phone on my Linux desktop. To do this, I have added here on top a button called Pixel. If I click that button, my mobile phone opens and you see here the quality is really awesome super fast and i can control my pixel 6 with my mouse so i can open swipe up to go back to the home screen i can open the play store i can swipe up and it's possible to control my pixel 6 on my desktop this is now a button here on Polybar. An even smarter way to access your Android phone screen is to use it in a scratchpad. When I click Super Key F9, my Android device pops up and I can move that window around to the position where I want to have it. I can open my applications. I can swipe up and search for applications. I can use it completely with my mouse and my keyboard and it's super fast and performant. It looks it looks absolutely great with all wallpapers that I have installed here on my Qtile. If you want to use screen copy on your Android device, you have to activate the developer options on your Android. Um, for Google Pixel, I have to open settings then about the phone and i need to search the build number it's here at the bottom of the list and i have to tap this build number seven times and then a message appears you are now a developer then you have to activate the developer options by tapping on system developer options. You have to activate this option here on top and then you have to scroll down and must activate the USB debugging information. Yeah, This is important. Without that you cannot connect to your mobile phone. Then let's scroll down and search for default USB configuration. Tap this and then activate file transfer Android Auto as default. So it means if you connect your device via USB, the file transfer will be automatically activated. Okay, now we are ready to install screen copy. sudo pacman dash s S C R C P Y and screen copy will be installed. So it's already installed in my system. Screen copy is available for all Linux distributions. So please check your software center and search for screen copy or S C R C P Y. After the installation of screen copy, I suggest to restart your computer. And after restarting your system, Connect your Android device via USB and check if ADB can find your device with ADB devices. 
And if your device is attached successfully to the computer, the ID of your Android phone should pop up. Let me show you how I have configured Polybar for my Qta window manager. Um, yeah, let's open dot files, Polybar. The configuration of Polybar is config ini. And if I scroll down, you see here that I have added a dedicated module for uh, source copy. It's just a custom text module, uh, the content. So the name of the button is pixel. And when I click on that button, source copy starts with the parameter D means I use the USB mode as default. Also, the scratch pad is easy to implement in Qtile. Um, I open the Qtile config folder and then the config.py file. This is the Qtile config file. And when I scroll down a bit, you see here that I have added a key command, super key, which is here mod and F9 opens the source copy drop down means the scratch pad. And also here you can see that I open source copy with the parameter D for USB. This is screen copy. Give it a try and unlock a whole new level of productivity and convenience. See you next time.